We are in the Motor City, no doubt about that. Cars, vehicles, it's a way of life. But when you look at the numbers that Edmonds crunched and you look at your pocketbook, you may not be feeling so great about that next purchase. I just couldn't buy a car, I'd buy a used car. I would have to, or I'd just keep driving this thing. That's June Lester's answer to the $1,000 question quite literally. Would you pay $1,000 a month or more for a new car if you had to? Turns out a record number of car buyers are doing just that. I think I paid $400 a month for it, and that was ridiculous. And I'm retired now, not sort of retired, and uh, there's no way. I mean, and I don't even drive. I mean, I've got 20,000 miles on this car, and it's four years old, so I couldn't afford that. Edmonds crunched some numbers for the first quarter of 2023 auto sales and found nearly 17% of buyers shelling out a grand or more for a monthly car note, not including the cost of insurance. That's up from a little over 4% just four years ago. $1,000 a month, what do you think? No, I already pay 400 now, and I just think that's astronomical. <laughs> so I couldn't imagine paying $1,000. The cost of living has gone up. Rent has gone up. I couldn't imagine adding my, like, $1,000 I already pay for rent on top of a $1,000 car. It just doesn't make sense. It is what did the consumer pay for the vehicle? How much did they finance of it? How much did they put down? The term length that was involved. So really, when we roll those numbers together, we look at these trends over time. You know, this last year, year and a half, has seen some staggering increases. That's Ivan Drury, Edmonds Director of Insights, walking us through the scope of data collected. Why the staggering increases? Well, just like the cost of everything going up these days, he says cars are that much pricier, but consumers are more selective too. It's got a mixed results in the sense that, you know, cars are getting more expensive, but consumers' preferences for certain kinds of cars, SUVs and trucks, they're expensive. They're very costly products. And on top of that, when you fully load a car, when you go from base to mid to high trim level, you can add on 30 to 50% of the vehicle's cost. So yes, the entry level price might be 30,000, but if you like the one with the 14 inch touchscreen, you like the sunroof, all wheel drive, every safety feature available, easily looking at 45 to 50K for that exact same vehicle. He says many buyers- According to fortune.com, 57% of Americans have less than $1,000 for an emergency expense. Now, the video you just saw talked about Americans paying $1,000 for car payments. Now, if this was not an issue, it would not be reported on the news. So clearly, this is an issue. The price of inflation is up. The price, well, the price of inflation, the rise of inflation is up. Excuse me, I'm on break and it's night. Um, housing is up. Cars are up. And I just don't understand. Well, I do understand. Because right now, we are in the keeping up with the Joneses culture. Now, listen, I'm not here to tell you that you should not buy a brand new car if you don't want one. But if it's going to stress you out, if you got to worry every week, how you going to make it, how you going to keep the lights on, how you're going to put food on the table over a car, to try to impress other broke people. Now that really doesn't make sense. Oh, and back to that fortune thing, I was one of those people that didn't have a thousand dollars in savings. Now as a nurse, especially if you're a nurse in my position, there is no excuse for that. But when you get money quick, get money fast, it happens, you blow money. This is why, and you know, I got a lot of young nurses that watch my channel. I got a lot of new nurses that watch my channel. And this is why I promote so hard having that five-figure savings because people really don't understand how easy your life can be. The average American spends $2,000 on car repairs every year. Uh, 
the average cost of an apartment is between thirteen and fourteen hundred dollars today. And I think that's slightly higher. Groceries, everything like that. Now, with the average cost of repairs for a car, I said two thousand, right? So two thousand, then you got apartment, that's thirty four hundred dollars roughly, right? So ten thousand dollars in the bank, fifteen thousand dollars in the bank, twenty thousand dollars in the bank, twenty five thousand dollars in the bank, thirty thousand dollars in the bank. Now, I don't say this to say that you need to keep all that money in the bank because essentially your money is not going to be able to work for you just by keeping a whole bunch of money in the bank. That's not what I'm doing. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is that it is very important that we know what we are doing with our money. Okay. It is very important that as nurse, especially as nurses, I mean, this could be for anybody, but especially as nurses, how we get money fast very quickly it can leave just as quickly i had to learn that i had to learn that. i had to keep it real i had to learn that um and then luckily before i got into anything that was crazy or signed a contract for anything that's crazy you know like a expensive car or a crazy house payment or something like that luckily it dawned on me and i was giving some game on the how on on the importance of having five figure savings shout out to coach money events and it is very important because just imagine you got ten to fifteen thousand dollars in a bank on call on call and i say every nurse especially if you're listening to me should be should have at least ten thousand dollars in a in a account especially if you ain't got no kids or nothing like that you need to have ten thousand dollars in savings that's that's what we working towards this summer me, I'm going for 25, 30, but that's just how my brain works. I'm not doing nothing else until I have that in the account. Specifically for reasons like this that we that they talked about on the news. And again, I'm not doing the pocket watch. You do what you want to do, but if you can't afford it, don't do it. People tell me all the time, CJ, why are you driving a 2006 Impala? You a nurse, you a nurse, you a nurse, blah, 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 blah. And my question to them is, why does it matter to you? My car gets me from point A to point B. <laughs> it's very easy to fix. Mostly every repair person can fix it, and the parts ain't all crazy high. It just financially benefits me I don't care about rims I don't care about having a newest car because I'm never at home anyway if I'm at if I'm at home I'm going to work going to the gym I'm coming home because I'm about that especially now I'm out that bag and I'm about seeing this world I done been all through Michigan I don't, it's nothing that I need to see and I don't need a new car to do it now if that's what you want to do then do you that's what you like. Because people going to say, well, CJ, a vacation every month is crazy. Yeah, but I'm not. It don't cost me a uh, payment like that a month. It could, but I cash out. You dig what I'm saying? But that's another story. And plus, you know, I know how to finesse and everything like that. Deals and all that kind of stuff. It benefits me more than if I were to spend Twenty thousand or not twenty thousand dollars, but five thousand on a down payment, a thousand dollars a month, another thousand for sh full coverage. No, 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 that's crazy. And the fact that this is making news, it shows you that a lot of Americans are struggling with this. Everything is high, and we need to stop living for the Joneses. That's why so many nurses are so miserable. Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. It's all clout. It's all for clout. It's all a drug. It's for clout. And that's a pop the power of clout. I even gotta catch myself sometime. I gotta catch myself sometimes. Clout is a 
crazy drug. It's one of the worst drugs that's ever been introduced to the human population. Clout. Because people will do anything for it. People will sell their souls for clout. And just like most drugs. But clout, uh, it's not a it's not a physical drug. It can be, you know, you hurt yourself and all that kind of stuff, but it's not like it's not illegal. It's pretty much easy to seek. But that clout demon, ooh, it's po it's powerful. It's powerful. I had to check myself a few times. It's been a few times to where I wanted to take part in the clout party, especially here on these YouTube streets, but I said no. Let me stick to my code. Because that is a whole nother demon. I'm not trying to deal with that. Because that's a whole nother world out there on them YouTube streets. And I'm not willing to go where they're willing to go. Just for views and clicks and likes. Because I have a real life. And that's all I'm saying. But yeah. Spend your money wisely. Nurses, if you can't afford it, then don't do it. What's the point of going on vacation if your rent is due as soon as you get home and you're about to get put out? What's the point of having a brand new whip and you ain't got no home to drive it to? To impress other people who ain't got it, who broke? Fellas, to impress the hood rat that you've been trying to get with for the last couple of years and now she see you balling? But the dude she laying up with ain't got a dime and he getting all the cheeks. So just use discernment and choose wisely. Let me know what you think in the comments. It's another crazy video, y'all. I'm going to in a minute. Peace. Get paid, young nurse. Get paid. Oh, like my video. Hit my subscription bell. We on the road to 4,000 subscribers. I appreciate y'all to help me get there. I'm going to you in a minute. Peace.